So this, as you can see in my title, is my first ever YouTube video and I just wanted to upload this video to kind of give a brief introduction about myself and what I'll be doing on here. What will I be doing? So my name is Lilac and I like to create art. Let me go on this field a little bit. Ever since I was a child, I always leaned into my creative side just a bit more. Funny story, I remember my, well, I didn't remember, but my friends told me this. My first birthday, as a birthday gift, they gave me one, a medicine book, two, a law book. And whichever book I placed my palm on, that would be the career I choose. Unfortunately for my parents, I just can't math. When it comes to math and numbers in general, my brain just turns into a frenzy. Like, no shame, but I still count with my fingers. But I wanted to create this channel just as an outlet for my hobbies. Um, my preferred medium to use is oil painting. However, oil painting is quite expensive and I'm not really good at saving paint. I go crazy with paint. I kind of just onto the palette. Even though I did mention that I've always leaned into my creative side more than my other side, whatever that is, I actually never did anything about it just because my logical side tells me that venturing into a creative field is a gigantic risk. At first, I thought that I would stick to charcoal as a medium because that was more my thing. And then I took a painting class, which I was so surprised with myself because so I've always told myself I am never going to paint ever because I just thought it was too difficult and I just thought I wouldn't be able to do it. So yeah, you know, the curriculum taught me so many things and so many things about myself that I wasn't aware of. And when I picked up the paintbrush and after all of the, you know, practice and foundation paintings, and then when we finally got into actual painting and we were allowed to be creative and create what we wanted and my finished products, I was like, hmm, I'm not that bad. But obviously I will let you guys decide that. Okay, before I show you guys two of my oil paintings, I did want to show you guys um, one of my favorite charcoal related work. Disclaimer, I'm absolute Donkey Kong at explaining things, especially my artwork. So if you guys didn't know, um, these little figures are called Spitsky figures. And I actually made this in one of my other classes. And we had to come up with our own still life, have a bunch of Spitsky figures. For this piece, my main objective was to just showcase how in life you need both. The chaotic, you need to be busy sometimes. Other times, you need to be alone and just self-reflect. Essentially a theme of yin and yang. Okay, moving on to my oil paintings. I call this... Always watching, always watched. My favorite part about this painting, and it was also the most challenging one, was this brick house. It was really fun to paint this, but it did take me like two hours to paint just this. This fox is watching you, aka the audience. And then in the background, in the forest, these sheep are watching them. And in the back background, aka background, middle ground, foreground. Okay, we have these three very ominous mysterious figures who are watching maybe them or maybe both of them the next painting i will show and the last i will show so far these two are my only ones i actually really like enough to show this next one it's a bit more serious in terms of theme <laughs> is called you don't know because i don't know i remember when i had a critique on this painting um people who saw it they were like what is going on and if you ask me i couldn't really tell you also but here's what i can tell you with art even though i do try to make every stroke intentional when it comes to the message i do want it to be open-ended because i just feel like art is way more enjoyable that way if everyone can have their own perspective but something that i wanted to portray when i was going into this was mental illness and you know these two super armed I mean, look how tactile they are. You don't see their faces, they're all geared up. They're in position, they're ready to shoot. I really try to make the expression on the boy to be a mix of guilt, shame, and almost sadness. My favorite part though, the dog, the corgi. Basically, this boy doesn't know that he's created a lot of bodily harm. To him, it's almost not real. Hence, I did all of these little Muppet heads, those Sesame Street heads. It's a bit cartoony, you know? 
So he's basically a menace to society and he's created harm, but he doesn't know that. And obviously to demonstrate how much threat he holds, we have these swats. And regarding the background, I was very inspired by, you know, like European catacombs and old architecture. One of the challenges I faced in this was definitely the angle. The foreshortening of this was an absolute headache, but I think I got it down. So yeah, that's, that's all. So that was the end of my very tiny short little art tour. I'm really excited to make more stuff to show you guys. Thank you for watching me and I will see you next time.